It was month of November, my birthday. I was leaving New Jersey for Miami. On the way, it began to snow. I was driving in the snow without knowing this fact that winter is falling in my life. I was full of energy, strength and enthusiasm before that day. By the evening, I was in Atlantic City cracking up a deal with casino owner of El Paso for Big Boss when Rudy called me to inform that FBI is searching for me. Because they were assuming that I am the main planner of bombing in New York. If you are terrorist in any other country, then Big Uncle can save you by giving you political asylum. But if you are declared terrorist by Big Uncle, then you can't knock any door in the world. Big Uncle can raid and ruin the whole country to get you. Within no time, my posters were displayed in the whole America and my pictures were in the newspapers. I was aware about this fact. After these sudden accusations, it was difficult for me to move an inch in United States. But somehow, I managed to reach at boss's place. Dreaded terrorist and the main planner of Newark bombing is a framed accusation pass. I could help you in bank robbery. I could have got you someone to kill somebody. Or I can do some chit fund cheating kind of stuff. Boss, you know what else I could do? But killing so many innocent people. Home even I don't know. That I can't do, boss. FBI raided all my three houses. Sealed my Long Island office. Running behind me day and night like a mad dog. Damn it. In this cat and mouse game. I lost Jenny to my girlfriend. If you, if you didn't help me at this time, they are going to put me behind the bars for the rest of my life. Or this, this FBI people going to kill me in some fake encounter and stuff. I'm going to be finished. So, what do you expect from me? Save me. Save me, boss. Please save me. I don't want to die. I don't want to leave this planet, boss, I know. I'm your reliable man, sir. I, I helped you in so many operations. I know if these guys got me, they are going to put me in jail forever or going to kill me. Please do something for me, sir. Get me out of this and... No, no, no. But now you are harmful for our big business. You have been declared terrorist now. Interpol is active. One can't save you on this planet now. Boss. I... 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 I'm your best left boss. I got you people to kill Robert. I, I, I shared the fair amount of money from the Texas gangs. 
I, I, I'm your best opponent since since last night, yes, boss. That is why I'm giving you protection. Take this and leave this country. But where I'm going? Where Interpol can't reach. I had my faith in Big Boss. He was the same man who introduced me to the oil business. He trained me about stealing the taxes from Uncle Sam. Nine years ago, he made me start my own business with a small gas station in the East Orange, New Jersey. And now, I had more than 20 gas stations. Anyhow, I knew that Big Boss is well connected. He got big people in the government in his pocket. So he managed to get me out of United States. Through the sea route. I was in Mumbai in a month's time. It was my first visit to India since my parents moved to United States for a better life when I was just five. But I used to read in the newspapers that India has developed a lot. It is one of the booming economy in the world. My ass, they lie. People still sleep on the streets here or maybe Maybe they want to sleep in the open. Who knows? Next morning, Big Boss's man put me in a strange kind of a vehicle. I don't know how I got fit in there, but I was somewhere in between the crowd. Now, I was going towards my final hiding place, where Boss said that even Interpol can't reach.